We have a paddleboard adventure out there. So let's look for some sea glass. Alright. Nice calm day. It's not real rough. I went through all my white sea glass and I separated well I knew I had I had gorgeous thick pieces and then I had more thinner contemporary pieces and then small which are tinies and I separated them um, so when I make things I don't have to dig as hard not that digging through it is hard but it's better to have a little system. So I have a system for my whites, a system for my greens. Come on, Lord, not one piece of sea glass yet? Out of all these rocks? Let's look up here. Maybe somebody beat me to it. I was waiting until the sun went down a little bit. Here's a piece. That's a shell. Um, I didn't want to come out here at 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Plus, I was making a bunch of jewelry, things that I have. Um, but I just had to, you know, piece them together and figure out what I wanted to be what. Whether it was a ring or a necklace, I made myself some new pieces. I made a bunch of new pieces for the. Um, website online venues so that's the fun part but the pain in the butt part is taking pictures of it all in the box doing the measurements <clears throat> um, I think somebody's been here already I should have found one piece of sea glass by now um, taking the pictures of it in the box and then the measurement of how much it how long it is putting it online typing in all the description that's kind of the part that makes you go oh but if you don't put it online it don't sell so I'm very excited. I made, I showed you guys a bunch of those tiny greens that I made. So I made some tiny, like, blues, like, blue cobalt, a couple of light blues. Oh, here's one piece. It's part of a bottle lip. Here's another piece. Um... And I actually found some reds that I had that I was saving. I said to myself, why are you saving these? Put them, make a jewelry out of them, a pendant. Put them online. It needs to go back so someone can buy them. You can't sell them them just sitting. Oh, I had planned to put them in some artwork, but reds are very expensive and kind of it's it's going to be rare that I put it in artwork because a lot of people don't have red in their home and it's kind of a bold color and they're so um, extremely rare that for me to put them in artwork 
um, the pieces that could be jewelry is just a waste of money. So I decided to make tiny splashes of red. Um, see glass, small little tiny pendants. So, and I made some larger ones too, because I always love the larger ones in a, you know, a setting, um, the white gold setting, pewter overlaid with white gold, and then, um, you know, I hear you, you want to see the one I'm wearing, don't you? Alright, let me show it to you, hold on. It's a piece of glass. It's like a cross between glass and rock. Slim pickings today, Lord. Can you see it? 